If you're looking for a stacked GTA 5 or Red Dead Online account, look no further than Crispy Mods, link will be in the description, as well as they offer some great modding tools to help get you started or help you along your journey in GTA or Red Dead Online. I did this on purpose waiting a week of the Criminal Enterprises update before I gave my kind of official review, my thoughts, and kind of a little discussion about it. Personally, I'm going to say this right now, it's disappointing. We waited six, seven months for literally cars and a few IAA missions. The quality of life changes and some, uh, you know, just those changes overall are really the highlight of this update. And even then, why did we have to wait six months for it? Why did we have to wait four years for an oppressor nerf? Why did we have to wait, you know, all this time when it could have just been hot fixed into the game? And I 100% agree with that. We didn't really need to waste all this time to finally get these quality of life changes, but I'm happy they're here. And that is honestly my favorite part and probably the highlight of this entire update. And the rest of it's kind of disappointing. Rockstar tries to do this thing where they try to create GTA and kind of make it a live service game. And when I mean live service game, I mean kind of like Fortnite or Destiny where week by week there's something new. But they only do this for two, three months out of the year with a new update. They say, hey, here's a new update. You're only getting a tenth of it. And over the next ten weeks or eight weeks or six weeks, you'll slowly be getting more and more stuff with it. Which is not good at all i mean this this game gt online is not a live service game whatsoever it's not built like that we need new content we need it way more frequently than we're, we've been getting for the past few years even i mean the one gun that we got at release the precision rifle total joke total waste of time the m16 i don't know if it came out today i haven't been on twitter because honestly i haven't really been playing gt online in the new update because i've been pretty disappointed about it and i mean wait a week to receive or possibly get a few new cars just doesn't really seem worth it to me so the m16 may be out or may be coming out within the coming weeks with their drip feed content if you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. The new dealerships as well, I think, is just a very, very cool thing that they did as well. You know, they have these interiors, Simeon's dealership, for example, and we'll finally possibly be able to enter them, buy some vehicles, test out some cars. It's really cool. I do like that. It gives me a GTA RP vibe, which I really do like. But waiting six or seven months for an update, getting a little bit after those six or seven months, you know, a couple of new cars, one new gun, the IAA missions, which were okay. The rewards are pretty garbage. Not that I play this game for money anymore because I have plenty of it. Just, it just wasn't rewarding enough. I totally would not do them again, if even if they were double money, triple money, because there's no reason to. The reward you get at the end of it is trade price for a helicopter that doesn't even have weapons on it, so you get this luxury helicopter that costs like one or two million dollars for no reason at all. And you don't even get it, you just get the trade price for it. I'm not spending the money to fly around in a different looking vehicle. Same with the cars, I'm not spending all this money to drive around in the same four-wheeled car. Though there are some Imani Tech vehicles coming out and those are some tuner cars coming out. Why do we need to wait weeks for them? We waited six or seven months. Now we gotta wait another six or seven weeks <laughs> to receive the rest of the content that, you know, we should have just gotten at release, you know? Though I am being pretty negative, this update was pretty mediocre, and I think a lot of people can agree with that. You know, the new cars are really cool, dealerships, really cool, M16, some of the new weapons, really cool, but did we really need to wait six or seven months for this? No. Did we really need to waste all this time for the quality of life changes? No, absolutely not. And the fact that we need to wait even more weeks upon weeks upon weeks to get the rest of the content blows. They stopped updating Red Dead Online, which, yeah, I mean, sucks it for Red Dead Online fans, but all these resources, where did they go? Did they go into GTA 6, possibly? Because with these new leaks and new things that we learned about Rockstar and their company and what they're working on, it would make sense if they, you know, just kind of said, hey, no more Red Dead, work on GTA 6 right now. But did they also take GTA Online resources, people, employees away from GTA Online? Because six or seven months for this is just how many people are working on it? Half a dozen people? Did they only work on weekends? I, I don't understand because 
this content yeah i know coding programming that shit game designing i know it's it's incredibly hard you know you can't just pick up someone random off the streets these people that work for rockstar they're way beyond talented way beyond my understanding of anything but how how much how much are they trying still with gta online how much longer are we going to be waiting for gta 6 is really my question and as always, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Do you think GTA Online should be continuing this kind of live service thing or not? Whether or not it's been disappointing for you, the cars, whatever. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I think with the sort of laziness, I shouldn't say laziness, but the mediocreness to GTA Online's updates recently, I feel like they were just getting closer and closer to GTA 6 and that there may be a light at the end of this tunnel. We might have to stick it out with GTA Online for another year or two, sit in this rut until we finally get something on GTA 6. Overall, I'd probably get this update 6 or 7 out of 10. I think I would actually go with a 6 out of 10. The quality of life changes were fantastic, though I think it should have just been implemented with a hotfix randomly throughout the year. Yes, absolutely. But, you know, the fact that we got him, we finally got him, I'm happy about that. And just the overall other content, the cars and the missions, I really don't think it was worth waiting six or seven months for, especially now that we have to wait even more weeks for some of these cars. Um, yeah, just kind of disappointed. Dealership's really cool. The M16, the weapons, pretty cool. But overall, six out of ten for me. I'm curious what you guys rated this update and what you guys think about it. So, like I said before, leave your thoughts down below with a comment. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Please remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.